All right, yeah, today we're going to be talking about the best shooting badges, shooting badges you must have on NBA 2K23. I don't want you guys to waste your shooting badge points on unnecessary badges. And I just want to say that this year on NBA 2K23, it looks like it's more about shooting IQ. Your attributes definitely matter this year as they have in previous versions, but in previous versions, you use your attributes to get particular badges. This year, you can shoot lights out with very minimal badges. And it seems like it's more of a choice if you want to extend your creativity in shooting. You can apply different badges to help you do so. We finna get into all the details Details, drop a like drop a sub if you can I want to first show you guys my shooting badge setup as you guys see in the background video I'm shooting lights out but pulling up my shooting badge setup you see I got Claymore on Hall of Fame which is probably not even absolutely necessary but the badge is extremely active and I am playing the two so I am a spot-up shooter I have agent threes on gold to make good use of the LeBron step back again as you see in the background video I also have green machine on gold and we're not exactly sure of the boost you get from green machine but considering the idea that full whites are bricking the majority of the time and you have to green in order to hit your shot this just means that you'll get the boost from green machine way quicker and more often i also have limitless range on silver and limitless range on silver is working really well but if you're able to get this badge to gold or hall of fame forget about it it's like you're shooting with your takeover meter on this year it's just absolutely so easy to shoot from limitless range it just feels really natural. Y'all let me know your thoughts about that. Are you shooting from limitless range? You guys should consider the idea of extending your range. Because an NBA 2K23 is not like previous versions of the game where you shoot from deeper and you get this like quick snap to your shot. And it just felt unnatural. An NBA 2K23 shooting from range just feels really natural when you have the badge on. I had just watched the NBA 2K Lab shooting badge tier list. And if you guys don't know about NBA 2K Lab, you may want to consider joining their premium service if you guys are struggling with a jump shot out there you can find the best jump shot for you they recently incorporated a new automated system to just kind of scan through just millions of jump shots so nba 2k lab premium will definitely have a jump shot for you if you guys would like to join nba 2k lab premium we do have a partnership with them you can use promo code all city and save yourself 20 percent in the video that 2k last posted they had some badges in the seats tier that you guys maybe shouldn't even consider equipping on your player right now. The C tier being the worst tier for shooting badges. They had the guard up badge, they had the corner specialist badge, and they also had slippery off ball badge in the C tier list. I made a video on this recently talking about the guard up badge and how the idea is kind of just weird. They want the defender to be really close to you but not have their hands up for this badge to activate. And that's such a rare occasion that that would happen. And if they are close to you without their hands up you guys should be timing your shot correctly anyway so the guard up badge just seemed like a waste of badge points if you guys are making good use of the guard up badge sound off in the comment section below also corner specialist i don't know what 2k did with corner specialist it's just like they forgot to add the coding to add the boost to corner specialist an og badge always a good badge to have equipped if you're a spot up shooter in the corner but this year they found out 2k last found out there is absolutely no boost for corner specialists so you guys may want to consider taking that off and the slippery off ball badge now if you're using slippery off ball let me know your thoughts in the comments section because this badge is supposed to counter off ball pests and if you guys haven't experienced off ball pests yet when you're trying to take a backdoor cut it's like you're hitting a brick wall maybe slippery off ball will help you get through that traffic if it works for you i'm definitely curious to hear your thoughts on that i personally tried slippery off ball and i didn't see the absolute benefit for it so i would definitely love some more feedback from you guys the only two badges that were in s tier were limitless range and agent threes both golden badges if you guys don't have these badges equipped i could understand maybe agent threes if that's not your type of play style if you're not making good use of the lebron step back you may want to consider that use the lebron size up escape package to get that good step back and all you need to do is pretty much walk forward a little bit and then step back it gives you a ton of space activating agent 
23s. And Limitless Range goes without saying, it's just a golden badge to have on NBA 2K23. Now some badges that you guys may want to consider are Volume Shooter, Comeback Kid, Space Creator, and Green Machine. The Space Creator badge is going to give you guys a good boost and give you a good amount of space if you're using those step back type of jump shots. But if it doesn't meet your playstyle, don't equip this badge. Do not waste badge points if it's not meeting your playstyle. All too often we're seeing players equip badges and they're only making use of them like for maybe one play out of the game. And 2K players are saying that Volume Shooter has gotten revamped for 2K23. So you guys may want to consider a Volume Shooter if you're taking a good amount of shots out there to activate this badge. You need to take a handful of shots and the badge is in heavy activation. So consider taking that slight boost that you get from Volume Shooter. Even if you guys miss a shot, Volume Shooter will still activate and continue to give you guys boost. And the new badge and comeback kit is something like Clutch Shooter. You guys may want to consider this because it's not only in the fourth quarter or later in a part game that this badge activates. If you guys are down by like seven points or more as per 2K Labs, you will receive a good boost from the comeback kit. So it's something to consider out there. If you guys are taking L's and you find yourself down, a good majority of games come back here to make you look like a star out there. Let's talk about the Ant Badge. The badge that replaces Tireless Shooter, Tireless Scorer. If you guys are OGs, you probably remember the Tireless Shooter Badge. If you're fairly new, you probably know of Tireless Scorer. We've all seen Ticino make very good use of badges that allow you to shoot while you're fatigued but the amp badge and the mechanics on nba 2k23 are very different because your shot speed is changing dramatically when fatigued and the amp badge does not make up for that shot speed difference when shooting fatigue you're losing about 80 percent of your shot timing your shot time is going to be 80 percent slower when shooting fatigue and the amp badge is not going to speed up that shot but it will allow you to increase your make percentage so you guys are still going to have to time your shot even when it's much slower to get the boost from the amp badge the next badge i like to talk about is midi magician now the midi magician badge is probably a good badge for shot creators but i'm not seeing a lot of players on 2k make good use of midi magician because midis are so easy to hit even with lower attributes for your mid range and i seen some goofball yesterday while we was in the rec center consistently taking these spinning mid ranges and missing bricking them left and right Surely he was testing out his MIDI Magician badge, but it just wasn't working out for him. If you're making good use of MIDI Magician, sound off in the comment section below. These next two badges are highly controversial because they were so goaded in previous versions of 2K, but in NBA 2K23, it's almost like we don't need them because it's a very different game. We're not like speed boosting Derrick Rose one direction, creating a misdirection with a Trey Young to make good use of badges like like dead eye and blinders your open window for a shot opportunity on nba 2k 23 comes to shooters very different than previous versions of 2k and me playing the primary on ball lock position i've noticed that it's very easy to contain shooters and i get very good contests on most shots and when i get that contest no matter what badges they have on they're bricking that shot and that may be due to the shot timing change whenever a defender is in the vicinity that shooter's shot timing will end increased by like 35 milliseconds and that's something like two notches of speed on your shot maybe as shooters become more familiar with the shot timing differences and how they fluctuate more players will probably make good use of the dead eye badge and the blinders badge i would like to say though considering the idea that the lebron james step back uh size up escape animation gives you so much space and oftentimes creates a late closeout from the defender mixing the lebron james with that I may work for you let me know if you've tried that let me know if it works for you another controversial badge that a lot of players may have mixed feelings about is the catch and shoot badge I don't use catch and shoot but I feel like I'm greening quite often out there if you guys are getting a good boost from the catch and shoot badge sound off in the comment section because I'm curious to see how most players are making use of the catch and shoot badge as it stands right now I do not see the necessity for the badge NBA 2k labs rate 
elevated Claymore in the B tier. And I can't really say if Claymore is the reason why my player is shooting well out there because it was one of the first badges that I've equipped on Hall of Fame ASAP. And the way I see it, if it ain't broke, I don't fix it. I leave it on. If you guys feel like Claymore is working for you, again, sound door. Now the Clutch Shooter badge, a badge that I never really liked Clutch Shooter, especially at high levels. I would consider equipping that badge on bronze. I think it used to help on free throws in NBA 2K22. I'm not sure how it works necessarily in NBA 2K23, how effective the badge is, but we know in a park game, I think you gotta be down by like eight points. And I think one team has to have at least 16 points in a park game and in a rec or pro-am game, you have to be in the fourth quarter for this badge to activate. So I don't consider equipping the clutch shooter badge because we're shooting good already as it is. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, most of these badges are not gonna serve as a crutch for your player. Like if you're a terrible shooter and you put on these badges, then you're not gonna be shooting lights out because you got badges equipped like we've seen in previous versions of 2K. Shooters used to be able to equip these badges and take these terrible shots. In NBA 2K23, it's a very different story. Your shooting IQ reigns supreme. So if you guys are struggling out there, you may wanna recheck your shot selection. Also consider the idea of checking your shot timing. The jump shot that I'm using is LaMelo Ball Base, uh, Oscar Robinson, and Rudy Gay 50-50 at max speed. That's the jump shot that's been working for me. That's the jump shot that you guys see in the background. I would love to hear your thoughts on your shooting badge loadout. What's the best shooting badges for you? Let me know in the comments section. If you guys are looking for players to run with on 2K23 and you're tired of running with randoms, consider joining our Discord. Well over 23,000 members, 23,000 players for you to run with and we would love to have you guys join the family the link for this quarter will be in the description below thank you guys so much for tuning in keep it locked right here at all city live tv for more nba 2k23 news information and updates drop a like drop a sub on your way out i'll catch you guys on the next video easy y'all